Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 6 of Prison Architect, which originally aired live on Twitch. Uh, a little reminder of this series, we, at the very beginning, decided that this is going to be a reformatory. Uh, there is sort of a meme way to play uh, Prison Architect, which is that you build a giant supermax and you abuse the prisoners about as much as you can, putting them into the smallest cells possible. Well, that's not how we're playing this. We are trying to treat our prisoners ethically and well, and get them reformed, educated, and back out into the workforce. Uh, with that said, uh, this stream, we are going to be taking viewer-submitted ideas, you know, sort of crowdsourcing about the direction, and uh, picking up where we left off. We are, uh, we've got our main unit here, this is a minimum security dormitory with extra nice wings attached to it. And then we have our insane asylum wing with uh, psychiatry offices and a gymnasium canteen sort of built in. Oh, I'm partially invisible. I just realized that. Um, we do have all the DLCs enabled, so uh, as one might be able to tell we've got some crops here tomatoes cabbage uh carrots potatoes uh you know we've got fruit trees we're trying our very best to have a green nice clean prison as nice as we can make it and of course i'm joined joined by yoda hey buddy what are you even doing all right well let's continue but cautiously. Now, I'm very low on minimum security prisoners right now uh, because I sort of closed intake for them. I'm going to open intake back up, uh, but not for criminally insane. Not right now. I'm just going to take the minimum security as we work. Uh, what I'm going to do is spend the first, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes uh, sort of getting back up to speed about how we're playing. And then... Once I feel like we're back up to speed, I'll start taking crowdsourced ideas. And yes, the, uh, the Overlord is back. I'm going to try to delete this uh, Stepping Stone palette. And I was sort of curious, was our... No, okay. Uh, Palmer here is still bugged out and is a headless, weird... Uh, seemingly impossible to deal with prisoner who I am apparently treating really, really, really poorly because he's currently in the process of uh, of drowning. Yep. That's that's awkward. I think the Island Bound DLC has, uh, has some issues. Non-zero issues. But we'll cope with it. So let's take a look at logistics here. As far as prison labor goes, we have uh, a bunch of qualified prisoners to do farming jobs, which is great. Uh, we have a lot of laundry jobs and some cooking jobs, only two qualified for cooking. Uh, let me add additional jobs for mailroom. Now, the problem is we have a lot of services here that require a population, right? Like 3, 5, 13, 16. You know, I have more jobs available than I even have prisoners. Part of this, of course, is that we are trying to reform our prisoners and having them work uh, is really to their best benefit, but um, I'm definitely going to have to fill the prisoners, you know, the prisons up again. As far as the research tree goes, let's take a look at that. I haven't really bothered to go deep into the armory tree because I don't feel a need for tasers, taser rollout, body armors, guard towers, things of that nature. Nor do I feel like I need the coverage for uh, legal. So I don't also I also do not have a lawyer as a result of feeling pretty confident that we have a yeah, a pretty friendly prisoner. Oh well, I mean the thing is we have a friendly prison, but um, that's not to say no one dies. Uh, I don't even know what happened here. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, there's most certainly an abundance of drugs in this prison, and uh, that's one of the things we've been working to clean up. Uh, 
we do have the canines that patrol and sniff everybody, making sure that they don't have drugs on them. Uh, that was an OD from last time. Yeah. Good call. Good memory. Back to the zero day nonsense. Yep. Yes, indeed. We'll have, uh, we'll have some penalties as a result, but that's okay. We'll also have access to a tombstone. I sub or no, maybe we already tombstoned him. Grave. These little gravestones to represent all the, uh, the perished prisoners. A part of me kind of wishes that I let, uh, Adam Palmer here actually escape. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do with him now that he's... Uh, floating here as a drowning headless body, or a bodiless head. I feel like he's Agnew or something, I don't know. Are there mod tools available? Um, there are a lot of mods in this game, but uh, I don't have any of them installed. I'm not really going to worry about him. He could just float there, oddly. I'm just taking a look around. So it does look like uh, some of these prison cells are getting a little dirty. If we take a look at uh, intelligence. So here, um, because I have a gymnasium as part of the insane asylum, they are able to get like smelly narcotics. Uh, smelly because, you know, a dog could smell them. But a uh, they're able to smuggle narcotics out of this gymnasium, which seems to have no inputs. But that's just the way the game works. So, currently, we don't have any... Wow, this guy is really dangerous. Currently, we don't have any... Um, any drug dogs in that area. So, I might want to add another kennel. Uh, and... Hire out uh, yet another dog handler. And let's go ahead and do that. We are going to set up a patrol. I'm going to have them patrol the perimeter here and assign a dog handler to that patrol just to sniff out to make sure that we don't have any more ODing, uh, you know, ODing prisoners. It is indeed a bit of my responsibility to make sure they're not dying, I suppose. Now, in terms of the rest of my prison, one of the issues that I'm having is that... Well, no, I guess this did get cleaned up. Yeah, it did get cleaned up, so I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that. We we do have prisoners to help clean. Um, giving them access to that area is a little bit dangerous because, of course, they there's drugs there. But um, with them having access to clean, uh, they can help tidy up. Uh, but they aren't... The, the prison workforce won't be able to tidy up this area. Because this area over here is for, uh, you know, the criminal insane only, as designated here. So here's the designation colors. Blue being minimum security, uh, purple being staff. Uh, this should be... Min sec... Oh no, I guess that's blue. Kind of looks black to me. And some weird no-access area there. I don't know what that's about. Let's speed time up. So I do have a few grants going on right now. We have got the Advanced Farming Grant. And uh, in order to do that, we have to have more prisoners working the farms. And then to harvest and uh, compost, stuff like that. So in terms of compost, we can also plant the compost ourselves so here's compost fertilizer and just dropping the i guess i can't compost there but dropping the compost fertilizer will help to um no you know what? i read that wrong we have to produce compost uh which would be these compost bins don't i need orderlies yes i would need orderlies so let's get an orderly or two. Oh, that would be three of them uh, in order to help deal with the criminally insane and deal with their issues and all that. Fire one of them. 
And here is the new prisoner's for intake. I you know, Adam Palmer, is Adam Palmer? Adam Palmer is not criminally insane, so I don't think he's actually the one that, um, he doesn't need an orderly to help him move around, I don't think. Wow, look at my cash flow. Well, that's a lot of money. Ooh. Uh, what did we just find there? We found... So if I go to intelligence here... Uh, we found, like, a tunnel, uh, in this area. Hmm. Where is the information from that? I don't know. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. No, no, stop quick building. Uh, I don't really know how a prisoner gets access to this spot here, but, uh, they flagged, as you can see, oh, it's under the water there. Uh, they flagged an area there that might have tunnel work, which is very, very strange. Yeah, foundations remove tunnel. Uh, we don't actually have a tunnel there yet. So uh, one thing I might be able to do is do a temporary patrol. Uh, where we assign a dog handler just to sniff uh, this patrol. Making sure that there is indeed no tunnels. Now, I don't know really how you tunnel underneath the ocean. That's a bit confusing to me. But uh, apparently they're managing. So, at this point, what I'm going to do is open up uh, the sort of goals. And if you have any ideas to submit, we're going to have them pulled. So that's a channel point redemption there. We also, so other grants that we have here, let's take a look at them because I have room for one more grant. So let's, but while, we, uh, while we're pulling for that, let's vote on this additional grant. So there's a few choices here. There is overproduction, which is uh, sort of selling crops that I farm back to civilization selling carrots, potatoes, cabbage, etc. There is MaxSec infrastructure implementation. Uh, that would be to start to install maximum security uh, measure into this prison, which would be a little weird because I don't have space for it. Um, so that would be a much larger grant to undertake. Uh, prison manufacturing would be a kind of a tough one to do as well, only because we don't have room for a workshop, but I could try to make room. And cell block B uh, is to raise our prisoner population up to 50, which we are at 35, so it's not that far away. Or our maximum. Uh... So if I was to expand this prison anymore, what I would need to do is to buy adjacent land and uh, turn it into islands and then sort of chain them together. And I'm going to slowly dismantle these stepping stones here that are somehow floating. Oh, is this uh, a Minsec that became criminally insane? No. I don't know where he came from. Maybe he had parole or something. I'm really not sure what's going on with Palmer. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So let's take a quick look at uh, prisoner needs. Uh, family is still a pretty high need. They are asking, as you can see the psychologist said, asking for spirituality and luxuries. Now that would be the commissary and a chapel. Those are also projects that can be submitted by y'all, you, in the... Uh, in the channel point redemption for things to work on. Now, what I might be able to do is turn this uh, room into a commissary or 
a chapel and then move the staff room somewhere else. I could put, I mean, it would be inconvenient up here, or I could try to utilize this area up here uh, for staff room or something. Can you, are you having trouble? I'm a little bit uh, regretting uh, island bound because it seems like island bound uh, comes paired with a lot of issues. Hey bud, you're on. He's, he's refusing. Yoda. Hey, buddy. <laughs> All right. Cell block B looks to be overwhelmingly the choice here. What's interesting is their orderlies don't seem to be working in the insane asylum. They're just kind of going, they're milling about, going ever, anywhere they want. Oh. And yet another prisoner is released. <laughs> He's really refusing to, like, even acknowledge you guys today. He's definitely in a bit of a mood. Okay, let's go ahead and accept the Prison Block B grant. Me to drag that away. Look at all these visitors coming in. Why are the visitors. Again, the visitors are going through my kitchen. Uh, no? I don't, I don't want them to do that. <laughs> I'm going to try to set this to access only and see if I can't route uh, prisoners away from going through the kitchen and canteen. Uh, taken the long way. I'm not sure why they're doing that, but it's kind of funny. Uh, all right, incident reports. We have one in lockdown, one in solitary confinement. Yeah, Barker's in solitary confinement for finding drugs. And who's in lockdown? I actually don't know who's in lockdown. Uh, do I have a starving prisoner? Uh, well, it might be it might be this non-existent guy here that I can't seem to do anything about so I kind of just have to ignore him as he's not he doesn't exist anymore like I really can't even move him around or anything and as you can see he's he's supposed to be released he has been supposed to be released for half a year now. Uh, but he's in the, he's in the perpetual state of drowning, and as a result, I really can't do much about that. He's just, it's just, he's just bug. Alright, let's have a bit of a poll. Let's see what we're doing next. Uh, we are... Here, I'll ask you all, while you submit ideas, this will be a different sort of poll. So, we did cell block B. So I'm gonna put down chapel. I'm gonna put down um, commissary. I'll put down other needs and uh, grants. So th this is sort of my current priorities. And you all can vote on what my current priorities should be and then I'll work on them as we collect uh, Channel Port Redemption goals. So if you have an idea for something that you would like to see out of this prison, uh, big or small, doesn't matter, uh, just let me know. All right, so this deployment here, let's uh, undo this patrol. Nope, undo. This is 
weird. Okay, let me undo the entire thing. There. We didn't actually find any tunnels, it was a false alarm. And that does happen. Not always when they think they've detected a, a tunnel or something like that is it actually true. So, we did our diligence, we sent out a dog to sniff it out. Dogs can sniff out tunnels, don't ask me how. And, uh... Yeah, there was nothing there. It was fine. Yeah, commissary, to be clear, is a shop for prisoners to buy luxury goods that would be allowed. Uh, so if we take a look at the rooms here, a chapel is for prayer needs. It's a multi-faith faith, uh, prayer room. Um, and then a shop or commissary would be a way for prisoners to spend hard-earned money that they get through working at the prison uh, in order to fulfill their need for luxuries. And if we take a look at the uh, if we take a look at their needs here, spirituality and luxuries are a non-inconsequential need for these prisoners. Same with recreation, uh, family, exercise, hygiene, but these are smaller, and most of those are just that they haven't bothered to shower or eat or whatever. Uh, all right, let me take a look at the quick regime here. So, for the criminally insane, um, yeah, okay. I guess they're fine. Now, they don't really have a yard, the criminal insane. So one thing we could do is we could stick uh, more work and free time in the middle. And that would also allow them to spend that time with the psychiatrists uh, doing psychiatry uh, sessions in order to maybe reform, I suppose. And if we take a look at the the programs here. Wow. No psychiatry cons consultations. I, I guess only two. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to remove some of these times so that the psychiatrists don't have to be ready. Is island size random? Yeah, it is a little random. Uh, if I generate a new island, I have no idea how large or small it's going to be. Let's take a look here. Chapel and commissary or shop are uh, tied, so we're gonna have you tie break here. And I'll have to figure out exactly where to put them because there's not a lot of room left. It's gonna be a tight fit. I wonder if there's a mod that it could quickly install to fix the Adam Palmer situation. He's not, um, he's not, his status, I don't believe, is working against me because he's released. He's just sort of stuck. No tiebreaker, just another tie? Well, I can always be the tiebreaker, of course. Hoping not to have to. Alright. One thing I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to sack... I'm going to sack a farmer because I don't need that many... Gonna sack some of the workmen. Because I don't need as many either. And we have a lot of money, so it might be good for me to uh, expand the prison over to another island at some point. Uh, if you want to submit that as a channel point redemption goal, uh, feel free. So if you look at the individual needs for these insane asylum, uh, family and recreation are very, very, very high. One of the things I could do to help them out would be to add uh, phones phone booth so that they can call home in these gymnasiums uh, which will help to reduce their uh, family need they also need alcohol and luxuries well some that need alcohol or drugs 
uh, th those aren't going to necessarily be fulfilled. But uh, recreation and family seems to be a pretty common theme amongst all of them. Uh, but I just don't have a lot of physical room in order to... Uh, in order to make this facility nicer. Now, one thing I could do is uh, I could blow up these three cells and move this prisoner, Dumber. I like how his name is Dumber. Move Dumber down here and then turn this into like a, a common room or something like that um, in order to accommodate for some additional needs there. Fedlow's biped, thanks for the bits. Buy yourself a nice church. Well, it's not just going to be a church. It's going to be a mosque, I think. Both are, uh, there's prayer rugs like that too. All right, well, we'll settle that up. Chapel won by the hair of its chinny chin chin. Um, and now I'm in a situation where I have to figure out where to put this stuff. So one of the things I might be able to do is to uh, open up, move the water pumping and transformer and power meter stuff uh, elsewhere. Uh, building a foundation maybe here. That's not very wide, though. Hmm. We are very, very strapped for space. This is for sure. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to move some of this stuff a little bit. And then the water, I have no room for a pumping station. I could put the pumping station out here in the middle of the ocean. This space here isn't really being utilized either. Uh, it used to be farming space, but it's really not being used. We could do um, flower therapy though. Uh, so flower therapy, if you take a look at the rooms here uh, and you put down a flower garden, uh, you can have your prisoners go through like flower therapy where they just plant flowers and and uh, and that's sort of the the therapy that they get. Okay. So let's put down the project description, add a chapel. As prison architect so far? So far, so good. No complaints. Challenging, but uh, fun for sure. With a few bugs here or there, but you know, that's fine. I don't really expect anything, everything to be bug free. All right, I'll put, I'll move the staff door here. And then what I'm gonna be doing is the trick here is we're actually going to have a bit of a power outage when we do this because I'm going to be moving the transformer, which means that like the whole prison is going to be unpowered for a brief moment. Uh, so things like remote doors won't work as a result, but all the manual doors will still be fine. The manual doors won't have any issue. And a lot of prisoners are seeking spiritual guidance. Good. We we know. Alright, so as soon as we uninstall that transformer, which is right. Come on. It's a it's a complicated object to uninstall. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and put the new transformer here. Uh, hooking up the electrical cables appropriately and then uh, making all of that stuff a uh, priority. So control left click makes it a high priority. And we'll try to get that done. Come on. I'm trying to make it a high priority, but 
As you can see, all the power is out. It's a 43 degree day, and hopefully there won't be too much like violence as a result of the power being up briefly. So then the we're also gonna want uh, electrical cables built here. And then this pumping station, I'm going to dismantle, or actually I'm just gonna move, and I'm gonna move it into uh, outside. It doesn't actually need to be inside, so we'll, we'll move it outside to save some room and reroute uh, the pipes. Now, the other thing I might be able to do is just to hire some additional staff uh, to do this a little bit faster, uh, some additional workmen. And then I can fire them if uh, if I need, you know, the money or whatever. But money, my daily cash flow is very much in the positive, so I'm not that worried about that. These guys don't seem to be working on the priority stuff. As you can see, they're, uh, they're not doing the right things first. But uh, let's go ahead and install those batteries back. So we're going to have one, two, three, four batteries. Uh, taking a look at the door location, I'm probably going to have to move that to here, so it's not blocking the, uh, the thing. And all this just so that we can free up a little bit more room for a chapel. So the new prisoner intake, uh, they're going to have... Actually, I don't even know where they are. Um, I think they skipped or something. Because the remote doors are in lockdown right now. Because no one can even get there. In fact... No, that's not why we don't have power back. It's just that the workmen aren't uh, doing the urgent queued stuff first. The ones I just fired, yep. They were furloughed, not fired then, right? Alright, well these guys aren't eating. Hey, workmen, could you please, like, do the tasks I did as high priority. We're having a bit of a problem here. There's a bit of a disagreement as to what high priority is. Um, I will throw more workmen at it. I don't really know what's going on. It'd be cool if you guys, like, did your job just a little bit for once, please. Because there's, there's a bit of a violent situation going on over here where we had to knock one of the... Um, yeah, they're in a bit of a riot. And my workmen still refuse... Okay, what is going on? Let me just cancel these. I don't know what the heck why it's taking this long. Please plug. We're getting full-on riots. Oh, no, we're getting deaths. Nice, because he overdosed. I might have to save and load, because uh, my workmen seem to be broken. I don't know what to say. They won't build the cabling. Um, so if that's the case... Oh, island bound. If that's the case, um, I suppose I can't move this. Boat is in the way. This supply boat... We'll, we'll try that again. That was super buggy, though. Well, I had a supply boat coming and going, and I had workmen that were shuffling that stuff. The supplies, of course, uh, from the boat to the storage, but no one was building. There was just a severe lack of actual construction, uh, which is the problem I was having. Not a soul was lifting a finger to actually do the, the tasks assigned. There's not really a power door by the boat. Um... Let's see here. If I didn't have any cables delivered, that's not something I can do on my own. You know, the boat's supposed to bring that stuff in and it just didn't. Right, 
What I can do is I can move the water first independently. Oh, you think the prisoner intake was blocked and then the the boat was just stuck? It was it was probably due to a lack of like a lack of boat additional boat docks or something like that. So I think one of the things I could do is I could stop um, I could stop visitors and intakes while I do it. We'll see if it becomes an issue again. I'll try to uh, I'll try to avoid that. to actually disassemble, disassemble that. I like how he's just swimming. Like, there isn't actually a concept of the water being truly impassable. No, here we go again. They aren't... Oh, no, they're doing it this time. Cool. One more, and... Water is back. Nice. Now, given the amount of money that I have, uh, I could just do two Transformers. I don't really care. It's only a thousand. So let's just double up our Transformers and, uh, and that'll be fine. Yeah, swimming with the box. And now this workman here is just wiggling aggressively. Bye-bye. I'll just fire him. <laughs> you want to wiggle around like you're possessed? Fired. Absolutely fired. Alright. Uh, for these batteries, let's see. We need electrical cable here. And then like here. Tool this slower. Oh, yeah, we do have a fifth gravestone. There it is. The Dead Man Island. Well, there's a lot of stuff being found. Okay, uh, dismantle object. I don't think that actually worked, so I'll just click them individually. Uh, we're going to slowly move everything over, and then I'm going to sell the tr transformer. Once the cables are laid, and we're ready to switch on over. Uh, yep. Why did that turn off? I don't even know. Because we're still... It says my power generators are not even generating power. I think I just need to throw the uh, the batteries back in, but... That was a funny brownout. Alright, come on. If we're going to have a brownout, one in the morning is definitely the time to do it. However... Overloaded. Uh, Transformers not on the same circuit. Okay, so let's uh, dismantle this quickly. And then we'll be alright. It was the fact that I had two on the circuit at the same time. So now, let's all switch on. Still not? Why have you cursed me? Uh, no, this looks right now. Uh, dismantling this utility. Oh, you know what? We're missing one cable here. Nope, we're not. I can see it. It's fine. So actually, I'm not even sure. Overloaded transformers must not be on the same circuit. Uh, but you're not, sir. You're not on the same circuit. Uninstall it and reinstall it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to need to do. 
Just being very fussy. All right, Transformer, please. There we go. I'm still reading the uh, wind turbines is overloaded, which does not make a lot of sense. Uh, but it is reading that, uh, well, it's not actually reading that I have a lot of excess power, so... Hmm. I have to individually switch these guys on and off. Is that really the answer? I can't do all on and off? No, I can't. Okay. All right. Time for a click fest. <laughs> uh, yep. All right. There we go. Now I see the excess power. Now let's reconnect the exporter for extra money. Uh, but let's only do that after we move the thing. I'm going to put the export box outside. All right. Connect. Done. And then uh, for the rest of these foundations here, here's what we do. This was a concrete building, so let's wall that up and throw a staff door in there and then we'll be ready to like turn this into a chapel or something all right here I'm gonna concrete that gonna complain about wanting an entrance but that's fine and let's go foundations or rather walls doors fence with grass right here as a high priority there we go then we don't open ourselves up to a uh, a jailbreak are these still off oh no they're on All right, so let's destroy some of these unnecessary walls. Dismantle this door. Check on everybody else. I think everybody else is fine now. Yeah, needs are fine. Uh, you want privacy? I don't have enough real estate for privacy, sorry. Hey, we actually have people sorting mail now for the first time. That's different. No one was working there previously. So... Walls, doors. So let's demolish these walls too. And then we'll turn this into, the, into a, a pretty decent jabble, I'd like to think. I'll even replace the walls into brick so that they look nicer. Or, you know, I could even... Uh, I'm going to change that. Even at cost, I don't care. Uh, let's see. What would be nice... Reclaimed wood walls. Let's do that. All right, and get some workmen back. One, two, three, four. All right, workmen. Yeah, here's all... Nope. I don't know where the walls are, but hopefully they're doing it. Yeah, they're doing it. All right, so the flooring in here will be... 
Maybe wood as well. Sort of comfortable feeling there. Okay. Uh, the need screen. What do the color bars mean? The key is down here. So red is critical. Uh, orange is high. And then over where I can't point, medium, yellow, satisfied is green. So if you look at safety, for instance, and how 28 prisoners all feel safe, that's out of 31 or whatever, uh, it means that I've met that need. So of the people that need spirituality, I have almost none that are satisfied. Same with luxuries. Luxuries and uh, spirituality are some needs that I'm severely lacking. But, but that's what we're working on, right? That's what we're working on. So in this little room, put a chapel down, and as you can see, oh, I don't have it hitting the minimum size requirements. All right, so let's fix that. I'm going to increase the mail room up this way and maybe out this way so that I can dedicate more space to uh, the chapel. Because that seems like it's going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, over here is a fence. Staff, fence, gate. Let's do another one here so we can gain access to that more easily. Another thing that might be uh, beneficial is to get another camera. I actually don't know how many... Okay, yeah, I know I have plenty of cameras. So let's get a, a camera. Uh, yeah, I mean, I should trust my prisoners not to stab one another in the chapel, but I don't. Trust but verify. Alright, the walls here. This wall will be dismantled. And then... I'm going to dismantle this wall too, even though it's a building in progress, because it is it is fenced in. So, no one should be going anywhere. And that was true. Good. Man, it's getting real cozy. So, mailroom will extend in here. And then we'll nudge everything over so there's more space. And let's move this, uh, this camera. Well, this camera will be moved a lot. Uh-oh. Wyatt, you're not supposed to steal forks. And you are stinky? Yeah, shouldn't have stole a fork, buddy. All right, so here is our little mailroom that needs to get updated. Uh-oh. Run! He's overdosing. I like how Palmer's still there. Still sitting there. Uh, it says this is not enclosed, which I know to be not true. Oh, there we go. Okay. So the mailroom now, we are going to shave this off of it and move some of these objects over to make room. Actually, let's have the two tables like this. And then the sorting desk there. It's a very very strange dimension. That's island life, baby. Alright. And go back to walls, grab the wooden walls, and finish this reclaimed wood chapel here. A rather large chapel. Uh, let's make the wall there, and actually just go ahead and 
demolish this. Cancel. No, not doors. How did that even happen? <laughs> uh oh. Misbehaving. Yeah, the mailroom is going to complain. I'm probably just going to have to continually nudge things around, but we'll see. So if this needs to be six by six, let's check. What is it now? So six by six would be about here or this. So even sending, pushing this wall over one will, will work. Okay, we'll try that. If our uh, workmen can get there. A lot of iterations here. No, stop that. Chapel. Okay, so now it is passing the size requirement. And we'll just, uh, we're going to have to redesign a whole lot of stuff. But that's okay. God, Wyatt, are you with a fork again? Can you stop trying to steal forks, my friend? It hasn't worked out for you so far. It will continue to not work out for you. I can assure you that. You keep stealing forks. I will keep taking the forks away. Oh, you know what? They are trying to escape. Okay, so this staff door, I guess, is, is the diagonals that are a problem. I don't want another, like, swimmer, though. Wow, he is real fast. Hey, guards. You seem to be the worst guards in the world. I don't expect you to be swimming champs, but... Like, any attempt to stop them would be swell. Cool. Um, please build these walls. Okay, so we have everybody in bang up, and as a result, no one should be trying to bail for the ocean here. And there we go. Now we can end the bang up. Uh, I don't know if we can... Oh, not this again. I do, uh, I do in hindsight, regret the uh, island bound... Because everything that Island Bound has to offer has been frustrating for t to, t to deal with. <laughs> Alright, so we'll get to Sexton once we build little stepping stones to him, I guess. think we're there now I was I was happy to get rid of all these stepping stones but it looks like we're gonna need them back all right now the mailroom might be large enough uh, to accommodate again so let's see about that okay yeah the chapel and the mailroom are both sufficient size Let's move the camera so it actually can see everything. Move this camera too. I'll leave that one there. We'll have two cameras. The two eyes of God. Or something. We'll even go for a double door here.
Okay, I think, uh, what's his face? Mr. Floating Prisoner is now, uh, taken care of. Good. We're back, we're back to sort of everything being normal-ish. Normal-ish. Slop a double door in there. Yeah. It's been a little sloppy. But we got there. So let's move the lights. Put a light here. And put a light here. I'll be enough lights, I think. Okay, floors. All wood. And then this needs an altar, pews, and a prayer mat. So here's the altar. It is a really large object, as you can see. Uh, pews, which I think I just made them backwards. And prayer mats. I have no idea which way they should face, but there we go. All set. Connecting the CCTV up so we can actually see into those rooms when they're not, uh, when there's guard, not guards in them. It should face east. Yeah, but there's no, there's really no compass here. One could assume that up is north, but that would just be an assumption. Plus, uh, I'm not going to be redesigning anything. Okay, there we go. Chapel done ish. Uh, if we go to logistics, this is going to be for Minsec only. Staff, staff. I don't have any min med sec, so I'm just going to leave those doors forced open for now. And then, uh, then what I need to do is to get services. So in order to do that, I go to programs. Or, yeah, programs, spiritual guidance. We'll have two services and uh, a man of faith will come in, or men of faith will come in and, uh, and do that. I'm going to end this dude's punishment because he's just been sitting here for the whole time. Don't really know what to do with him. Uh, all right, so this fence here, why do, every time I select fences, it's like, hey, you want to put a door down? Uh, this fence we can get rid of. Hey, Bagos. Thanks for the reset. Welcome. There we go. Now we have uh, a prisoner benefiting from spirituality. Oh dear, it seems like a lot of our prisoners have drug problems. So we did just complete the chapel. Uh, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pause and we're going to vote on the things that have been submitted to me by you all. So, or by a few of you. <laughs> um, expand the prison. Add metal. Detectors. For other sensitive points of entry. Um, so, Siona, I don't think that your suggestion is viable, so I'm going to have to leave it out. Actually, we really only have... No, I don't really have enough submitted ideas to even do it. Because there's, uh... There's some duplicate suggestions. So never mind, we're gonna leave that off the poll. And I'll I'll queue up uh, a different type of poll. So let me do that.
All right, there we go. There's your, there's your four. So one through through four, we have got at a shop. And that would help to satisfy the, the luxury needs, as you can see, they're not being met. Spirituality now is being met-ish. Staff needs are fine, at least. Uh, expand to another island, we would be just buying another section and seeing what we could do there. Uh, focusing on the drug problem would mean drug-sniffing dogs, and then trying to limit access to areas that Drugs can be uh, procured. So a lot of it is coming through the boats here. Uh, some are being smuggled through booze bags. You know, uh, some of them are being thrown. I don't know how you throw scissors uh, like over the ocean, but uh, apparently it's, it's, it's a possible thing that you can do. It's news to me. We'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, do you... Uh, the, so these criminally insane prisoners do not have spiritual outlets like the others do. Um, largely because, you know, I, I have limited space here. Uh, one of the things I might be able to do here... Well, I'd have to vote it as a priority, but uh, focusing on prisoner needs or something like that, we could improve their... Um, we can prove everything for them if uh, I busted down some of these cells and, and replaced it with something that supports them better. And I'm happy to do that, just it needs to get voted on. So expand to another island seems to be the popular choice, so here we go. I'm going to buy this plot, and I'm going to render islands there. That's like an avocado. I'm going to buy this plot and do the same thing. Uh, it's just like a big old avocado island. Thank you for watching Prison Architect, which originally aired live on Twitch. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. It also has links to Discord where you can chat about Rodamont plays and links to Twitch where you can find my live streams. Thank you so very much for watching. Adios.